It says, please provide any footage or photos of your <laughs> earliest drag, but baby, you're already in front of the camera. What was the last question I asked? Why do you drag? Hello and welcome to the Meet the Queens of the second season of The Finish Line. I'm your host, Matt May and Finish, and today we have the lovely Calypso Camille. Why don't you introduce yourself? Hi everyone. Hello, yes, it's me, Calypso Camille, the autistic drag queen from Omaha, Nebraska, of 19 years of age, by the way. Now, what do you hope The Finish Line can do for you? I honestly hope that it'll help me, you know, do different things that I wouldn't normally do, you know, like put me into situations that I haven't been in before with drag, you know, like this. This is a situation. Hello, everybody. <laughs> Not the situation, you know, from Jersey Shore, because, I don't know, let me tell you. But, you know. Every queen is special, but what is one thing that you have that nobody else here does? Well, I'm more than just a drag queen. I'm also a bio king. To me, that means that I can show different sides of drag that not would get represented all the time, you know? Like, obviously, like, hello, Cookie Monster King, hello, yes, hi, let me just show this real quick. Like, who would have thought of something like this? You know, not many people here in this competition do male looks, and when they do, mine are better. How would you describe your drag style? <laughs> An autistic man's confused dreams that he doesn't remember. Why do you drag? Because I love to perform and I love to entertain. Like, I've been performing in drag for almost a year now, you know? But I've been performing as a person since I was little, you know? Like, I've been on stages since I was in kindergarten, you know? So, yeah. Do you perform? I do. I perform in Omaha, Nebraska, and sometimes Lincoln, Nebraska. Well, one time Lincoln, Nebraska, and then I broke my glasses. And yeah, but yes, I perform. If you weren't doing drag, what would you be doing? I would be in culinary school. One of the things that I did in high school was a program to learn culinary school. You know, like I, I got the opportunity to go to college for it, but I didn't do that because I decided to do drag instead. You're five minutes before a drag show, but you're not in drag. What do you do? <laughs> I take a giant ass brush, the darkest black that I can find, put it around my mouth, put it around my jawline, put on some brows real quick, you know, do a little bit of nice contour, do a little bit of eyeliner as quick as I can, you know, and then put on a mesh tank top and some thigh highs and boxes. And you gotta look. If you're not wearing blank, you're not doing drag. If you're not wearing a smile, no. <laughs> no, but like, honestly, drag is interpretive. So it's like, there's not one set thing that you can say you have to wear. <laughs> if you're not wearing yourself out, then you're not doing drag because it's exhausting. How did you get to the name Clipso Camille? So my high school, the mascots were the pirates and you know, Pirates of the Caribbean kind of coincided with that. And you know, the goddess Calypso from the movie series, you know, I thought she was pretty and I love the name Calypso. Now my name outside of drag is Caleb, but it's spelled with a K. So of course, you know, I had to kind of continue that. So it's Calypso Camille with a K for both. Please tell me about the monster behind the cookie. I'm a real boy. No. <laughs> Um, honestly, uh, as I said before, I am autistic, you know, like I'm very much in my head a lot as a boy outside of drag. In drag, I am way more body positive. I am able to take off my clothes in front of a, an audience and do splits and a jock strap mixed with a thong and then have people throw money at me. So, you know, as a boy, I wouldn't normally do that because I'm not that confident in myself, but you know. As a king, as a queen, you know, I get to do what I want and I just have fun. I have said this before and I will not say it again. This is not OnlyFans. Keep your clothes on. I will not repeat myself. Is anyone after your cookie these days? But no, no significant others. So, you know, this is pure Camille. No. <laughs> Anyways. Who inspires you? Definitely Land Insider. Definitely Dolly. There's a few, you know, it's like I love all forms of entertainment. I love androgyny, I love king, I love queen, I love bio, I love drag. I love alien, you know, Jeffree Star. 
If you're weird, I love it. Well, thank you so much for being here, Camille. But thank you for having me, everybody. Yeah, I know, I'm beautiful, I'm gorgeous. I look like Valentina. Uh, yeah, bye. Well, thank you so much for being here, Calypso. If you like Calypso, make sure you visit her Venmo down below and monetarily support her. And if you like me, then make sure to visit my Venmo down below and monetarily support me. Well, the race has just begun, so stick around and subscribe to find out who will make it to the finish line. And if you'd like to keep up with what's going on in the race, make sure you visit our Instagram down below. Until next time. If you'd like to monetarily contribute to the grand prize, then please go through my Venmo and please write, this tip is for the grand prize. Otherwise, I'm going to consider it a tip for me. But these girls are working with their time, their money, and their energy, so a tip does go a long way, especially for me. Again, again, if you'd like to contribute to the grand prize, make sure you make a note on the transaction saying, this is for the grand prize. Maybe a heart emoji, I don't know, you, you do you. But thank you so much for watching, and let's hope this pre-production stage goes well. Until next time.